This is a story that you've probably never heard before about a man who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. In the heart of Virginia, in a small town with a story that would soon echo in the NBA, a father's journey through the justice system was about to change the course of his son's life forever. Tuesday, December 19th, 2023. This marked the end of 28 years, nine months, and eight days of anguish for Albert Smith, father of Brooklyn Nets forward, Dorian Finney Smith, a man granted parole from Greensville Correctional Center. As the prison gates opened, a moment awaited that would redefine the meaning of freedom. The father and son extended their arms, sharing a real connection for the first time since Dorian was a kid. Their embrace held a mix of tears and laughter as they exchanged a few words in the moving moment. Dorian Finney Smith, currently making waves in the NBA with the Brooklyn Nets, faced a tumultuous journey that stretched far beyond the basketball court. I couldn't sleep, said Finney Smith, as the anticipation of his father's release weighed heavily on his mind in the two nights leading to Tuesday. Before digging into the meat of this story, I think we need to understand who Dorian Finney Smith is and how he got to where he is today. Hailing from Portsmouth, Virginia, Dorian's journey began on the courts of IC Norcom High School where his versatile capabilities as a defender quickly caught the eyes of scouts. After compiling two VHSL Class AAA Player of the Year and two All Tidewater Player of the Year awards, Finney Smith became an ESPNU Top 100 prospect. The offers began rolling in, and he narrowed his choices down to Wake Forest, Virginia, Old Dominion, Florida, and Virginia Tech. In October of 2010, he made a verbal commitment to suit up for the Hokies. Just one year into his collegiate career with Virginia Tech, and Finney Smith was in the transfer portal. He ended up playing under Billy Donovan at Florida, a school that was out of his top five list out of high school. He spent three seasons with the Gators, and again earned himself some hardware. He was 2014's SEC Sixth Man of the Year, while making second team All-SEC as a junior and a senior. You'd think a resume like this would have guaranteed at least a second round draft selection, right? He entered his name in the 2016 NBA Draft, but never heard his name called. The night ended with Finney Smith standing as an undrafted free agent. However, it wouldn't take long for the Dallas Mavericks to come a-calling. He signed a training camp deal that would soon turn into a non-guaranteed contract worth over $500,000. For seven years, Dorian repped Maverick Blue, and he became a regular starter by 2018. He was a contributing factor in Dallas's Western Conference Finals appearance in 2022, and was widely regarded as one of the NBA's most consistent 3 and D presences. When the Mavs traded for Kyrie Irving the following year, Finney Smith was correspondingly acquired by the Brooklyn Nets. And while it probably stung to bid farewell to the team that gave you your chance in the NBA, going from an undrafted question mark to a centerpiece of a deal for all NBA talent, well, I'd consider that pretty damn impressive. The Nets, recognizing the significance of Dorian's life-altering moment, granted him the time to be with his father in Virginia, allowing him to miss a game and travel to witness the reunion. But this story isn't just about a father and son. It's about the power of compassion and the influence of those who care. Mark Cuban, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, played a pivotal role in the release of Albert Smith. Behind the scenes, Mark Cuban Company's Chief of Staff Jason Luton and former Virginia Attorney General Jerry Kilgore worked tirelessly to persuade the Virginia Parole Board to consider Albert Smith's case. On July 27th, the Dallas Morning News revealed that the board voted 3-0 to grant parole to Albert Smith, bringing nearly three decades of agony and hopelessness to an end. Albert's journey through the correctional system was no easy feat. Overcrowded and understaffed facilities led to deteriorating conditions, with multiple inmates overdosing on drugs, sparking riots in August, and several facility lockdowns. A man with an honorable discharge from the Navy in the early 90s, Albert Smith held no prior record of violent crime before 1995. The case, dating back to January 25th of 95, involved Smith and his colleague Deefan McGann attempting to collect a debt from a Virginia Beach auto shop employee, Willie Anderson II. The confrontation escalated, and McGann shot Anderson three times. He died shortly after. McGann accepted a plea deal for a voluntary manslaughter, serving a five-year sentence. However, Smith, advised by his court-appointed attorney, turned down a similar offer, opting to go to trial. It was McGann who fired the fatal shots at Anderson, which is what made little sense about the sentence that Smith was about to receive. 
The trial on March 29, 1996 led to Smith's conviction on charges of second-degree murder, malicious wounding, and use of a firearm in the commission of a crime. He was sentenced to 44 years. Unbelievable. What could have had Smith released by the turn of the century turned into what felt like a life sentence. And this is what makes the story about Albert and Dorian so profound. Albert could have been around for most of Dorian's life, and their experiences stand as an example for people who have made wrong life decisions. As Albert Smith embraced his newfound freedom, Dorian Finney-Smith found solace in the fact that his father's struggle was finally over. A story of perseverance, compassion, and the enduring bond between a father and son. If you like this video, just leave a like and subscribe to Legal Alerts for more content like this. See you next time.